Before I start, I want to give a quick shout out to our Instagram account. On our story right now, you'll find a quiz to test how much you know about what's made in Britain. Head over to TLDR News UK to test your knowledge and find exclusive content. Historically, the UK was a nation of manufacturing and production. The United Kingdom led the way throughout the Industrial Revolution and during the 19th century. However, in recent decades, the UK has become more and more service-driven, with over 80% of the UK's GDP coming from the service sector. But that doesn't mean that manufacturing isn't still on the rise in the UK. As we discussed in our video on whether the EU relies on the UK, the UK is still involved in a lot of manufacturing and is vital for some European supply chains. In that video, we asked if you want us to dive deeper into what the UK actually manufactures, and there was a pretty clear response. The data we've used in this video is based on a 2018 report from the Office of National Statistics. All of the sources we've used can be found by going to tldrnews.co.uk forward slash UK made. And there's a link to that in the description. There's also some extra content on that page, so be sure to check it out. As I was just saying, manufacturing is actually growing in the UK, with 2017 seeing manufacturers' sales increase by 5.4% or £19.8 billion. This means that the total value of manufacturers' sales in 2017 was £384.5 billion. Since 2009, there's been a year-on-year -year increase, every year besides 2015. Almost all manufacturing industries have seen an increase in sales. In fact, the only major industry to see a decline in sales was basic pharmaceutical products and pharmaceutical preparations, which decreased by £1 billion in 2017, falling to a value of £11.5 billion a year. All other industries saw their manufacturing levels rise or stay flat, with the manufacturing of basic metals, mining, quarrying, chemicals and paper products growing the most in 2017. Despite these industries growing a lot, they still don't come close to the biggest manufacturing sector in the UK. The food manufacturing industry is the largest area of manufacturing in the UK, with the sector earning £70.3 billion in 2017. That's 18.3% of the UK's total manufacturing earnings. Not far behind are those who create motor vehicles, trailers and semi-trailers, whose sales totaled £57.5 billion in 2017. So while whole industries are interesting, let's break it down into products. Which specific products does the UK produce the most of? The top four products are all pretty related. Petrol motor vehicles, aircraft parts, diesel vehicles and military aircraft. These sectors have stayed relatively level since 2016, with three out of the four growing in 2017. In fifth place you'll find medication, sixth is repair and maintenance of civil aircraft, 7th is soft drinks, 8th is beer, 9th is vehicle bodies, and 10th is fresh or chilled cuts of veal or beef. Most products stayed pretty flat from their 2016 level, but beef, veal and beer production all entered the top 10 in 2017. Meanwhile the production of cakes and pastry products dropped out of the top 10 in 2016 to 12th place in 2017. Despite this, the industry still grew by £75 million in 2017, just not growing quite as fast as other products, so consequently it fell out of the top 10. The manufacture, installation and repair of military vessels saw an even larger drop, going from 8th in 2016 to 16th in 2017. This was a result of the industry seeing sales decline by £745 million in 2017. So the UK definitely still produces a lot of products, despite the popular belief that the UK no longer manufactures anything. One last thing I want to cover, every part of the UK is different. So how do the different areas of the UK vary in terms of their economy and their biggest sectors? Well the accountancy firm BDO recently analysed the differences between regions in the UK and found that there were some pretty significant differences. London is the biggest market, turning over £576 billion a year. They're also the only region where professional services is the dominant sector. Only one region has manufacturing as the dominant sector, and that's Wales, where manufacturing represents 37% of the region's turnover, worth £12.7 billion a year. In every other region of the UK, the dominant sector is retail and wholesale. That might make manufacturing sound insignificant, with it only being the dominant sector in one region. However, 
Manufacturing is the second biggest sector in Scotland, the North East, the North West, Northern Ireland, Yorkshire and the Humber, the East Midlands, the West Midlands, the South East and the South West. So manufacturing is the biggest or second biggest sector in every region besides the East of England and London. So most regions still get a lot of value from the manufacturing sector and would be majorly affected if this sector decreases in size. So do you feel that you know more about what's manufactured in the UK? Want to test that? As I mentioned at the beginning, we have a quiz up on our Instagram story which tests how much you really know about what's made in Britain. To find that and much more exclusive content, head over to our Instagram account. It's at TLDR News UK. If you're interested in the facts and want to see the data behind the economy and politics, subscribe to TLDR News to stay up to date with our data dives. Also, head over to tldrnews.co.uk forward slash data dive for more content.